it's new bike day for Nick. And this is officially the first bike build that we're doing in the new studio. We've got it ready overnight. Hopefully enough to do a full bike build. We're gonna find out in today's episode. This bike has many secrets, Nick. What is it? It's a BLO R plus one, one buy only. Electronic group set only. This is a local brand, uh, Vielo, from Gateshead, the right side of the river. My friend Trevor and his dad Ian started it a few years ago um, and they just make amazing bikes. Uh, we've run quite a few of the gravel bikes and this is their first four range road bikes. One bike specific as well, electronic group set only. So just, it's a much cleaner bike. So still really comfortable, optimized with 30 mil tires, but because of how they've been able to design the bottom brackets, down tube and C tube just means that you get the best of both worlds. Really stiff, it's so really fast, but also really comfortable. They do offer a bike that can take mechanical gears, but all of them is just one bike. Outrageous. Can we get this build video on or what? Why are you so impatient? I've already been here for 14 hours. Did you stay here last night? Well, I thought you were here too. So Nick has a new bicycle, Jimmy's here filming a uh, cinematic video of the build which will be on Jimmy's YouTube channel. We thought this would be a nice way to just test out everything on the tool wall, all the new setup, what this new studio space looks like on the camera because it makes a big difference sometimes, you can't always tell how things are going to look until you start rolling and um, yeah, test things out. Oh, sakes. It's not going well. Yeah, but this, this, this is what he's like in his own bike workshop mm. as well, there is no change. Um, I've got no three axles. What's going on? Who's this giant? Well, Nick struggles with his brake hose. Um, <sighs> this is the pile of parts that are going onto the Vielo R plus one. I think this is SRAM red. It was before I crashed it about 76 times. Mm. To get the chain line correct on the Vielos, you need their custom chain ring, which is one of these. Actually looks really cool. What size is that, Nick? 48. Mm. Seems like a big chain ring for a one by bike. I'll be right, you'll see. Mm. You'll see. I feel like there's a secret. There's a secret coming. Classified information. Classified information. You just broke my wheels there. It's not a really padded box, is it? <laughs> <laughs> you just lost out on 4,000 pounds. So here's your secret, guys. Nick won in a competition some classified hubbed wheels, which are CFR50s. Are these made by classified? Yes. These are the, their own brand. The main thing for classified is the hub, which is that. Now, you can buy just this. And they're on quite a few wheel brands, Envy, Spinergy, DT Swiss, Roval. Uh, Park Horse is the newest one. We're going to do a TT, but really exciting stuff. Future video. You can just buy that, slot it into the wheel. Oh, that's like a massive hub. Yeah. And what does it do? So, essentially, it's a geared hub that inside it drops down your gear ratio by 0.7. So, for instance, if you're riding a 50, it makes it into a 34. If you're riding 53, it becomes a 37 roughly. Which is what most people have as a double anyway. It's like a double, yeah. So you were saying earlier that I've got a 48 ring. I'm gonna get a 50 ring down the line. But with this, get a tiny little button, my handlebars, click that, and my rear hub changes my front chain ring to a 34. Front chain ring. Big benefits I reckon is gonna be aero advantage for TT, parkour's new wheels are gonna be very exciting for that because you could run a 60 tooth ring for optimized chain line and also to have your, this is more efficient running over a bigger chain ring. You hit a bit of a hill, 60 chain ring is not the greatest thing to have. Click your button, drops about 0.7. Uh, don't we all have to do the math on what that comes out to, but yeah, it just makes it a lot easier. Uh, but you don't have a front mech. It is slightly heavier, but it negates the weight of a uh, front mech, the extra chain ring and all of the other bits you would need to do it. Just to make it clear, Cade Media is not sponsored by any of this stuff. Um, it's all my choice of things that I wanted. I've used my old group set. Vielo frame sets, something I've wanted for years, and then I won the wheels in the competition. So... That was lucky. You fucking owe me. I'll knock it off the 45 pounds that you owe me. 43 pounds. It's the odd scenario where Nick is literally a customer of someone else's bike shop. And I'm too lazy to go down the 
to our own shop across the river to go and fetch something so it is quite full it is quite and full he, yeah. he didn't even go for that sent Lucas for it yeah I was going to say yeah I actually got it thank quite you we've got people for these kind of things <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes Nick does, he, he says words that aren't words. English is my second language. I only started speaking when I was 16. Did you say you only what started you speaking when he turned 16? <laughs> Thanks, guys. It was, it was lovely. I'll see you tomorrow. What's Nick going to do now he doesn't have help from Lucas? Oh, he's, he's coming, coming back. back, that's good. That's So we have got a completed one by only wireless only VLO R plus one with a set of classified wheels. So I guess it's not really one by full SRAM red used from Nick's previous bike. The wheels are classified's own carbon rims and then you've got VLO handlebar, bar and stem which is integrated and an integrated seat post also from Viello. Apparently you can use a round seat post in this bike as well. So if you wanted to use a dropper post, uh, I guess that matters more for their gravel bikes, you can use a round seat post, not just the Aero one, which is slightly faster, I suppose. To finish it off, the saddle is a Sella San Marco short fit. 8.25. We can go lighter with obviously a lighter saddle. Do you know how much those wheels actually weigh? No. Oh, tripping. Okay. I know because I'm from the future. Nick's just messaged me and he said with his zips, the bike is actually 7.3 kilos, 926 grams lighter. So those wheels are pretty heavy. Is the through axle the receiver? So you have to use the, yeah. the through axle, yeah. How do you control it? Little button over there, like a sprint shifter. You can put it wherever you want. Definitely a unique bike, isn't it? I love it. Is this the future of road bikes? Is it? Because that is not like anything I've ever seen before, as a frame and as wheels. I reckon this is the first step. The next thing they're going to do is somehow they're going to figure out how to put all your gears inside the hub and possibly a chain set. And it's going to be a fully internal group set. Isn't that actually something from like 50 years ago? Isn't it called a planetary hub or something like that? Well, they do it like roll-off hubs and internal geared hubs, but if they can do it electronically, it changes everything because then you just have a single Single speed chain. Do we need it? Don't need any of this, but it's nice to have. Personally, I am intrigued to see what Classified are going to do, especially considering how much money they have raised. How much money have they raised? 10 million euros. It's a lot of money, isn't it? There's a lot of money. You can do a lot with 10 million euros. You could buy like at least six VLOs. At, at least. Hmm. Possibly seven. Possibly at most. <laughs>